Dr. Dex here. Today it's all about cable rail. We're installing our posts. We have all those installed basically. We're running all of our lines and getting our wire ready to be tensioned. I'm running top cap materials right now. So if you like what you see today, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. And for those of you that want to discover a little bit of Dr. Dex merchandise, uh, go check out our new merch store. The link's down in the description. I appreciate it if you take a look. All right, let's get going. I'm just trying to use these pliers here and take out what uh, loose tension we have in these cables. And uh, by doing this, it kind of gets it into like a, kind of like a spot so that when we come back and take actual ratchet tools and tighten these, we don't have to tighten them as far. And uh, yeah, and then that way we can also cut all this excess cable off and we're positive that we have enough length. So, all about the prep work today. And then hopefully we'll get close to finishing this stuff. It has to be helicoptered too, but I just want to start by getting it up there. Thank you. You're a one-hit wonder. <laughs> no one I've seen does it in one hit. Let's work that way. Sure. Makes sense to me. <laughs> what are you doing though? I am plugging the holes and then I got a waterproof uh, behind our, our where our riser is going to go. Um, going to caulk it and then put a layer of G-tape at an angle uh, just so the water can drain, you know, and get in between there. Uh, to our framing. What happened? It's just every miter has to be fit custom. So I'm running back and forth, back and forth to get everything to fit properly. I don't want to bring a saw up onto the deck because the deck's finished and it'll throw out a lot of metal shavings. And then if we walk on those, they grind into the deck. It's not good. It makes a mess. It's hard to clean. So. Trying to make all my cuts over there. We're still getting some metal shavings on the deck because we're adding fasteners, but that stuff we can clean off a little bit easier than if I'm throwing metal shavings everywhere. That becomes kind of a mess. What happened to this last piece? Oh, it had some, uh, the last piece had a couple defects, some scratches in it, and I didn't like it. So I just cut a new one, which I'm trying to fit right now and still not quite there. So it's gonna make another mark here. And I'm still long too, so I have some room to play. Oh, hold on. Okay. I think I'll go with it. taping it up with uh, green G-tape so that uh, it can come back through and even though when we install these posts I put clear caulking all the way around them in the inside and then even on the bolts we want to make sure that nothing goes through underneath so we're gonna caulk all four sides and uh, make sure it's watertight because we've got soffiting down below and we don't want to mess up our soffiting. One of our cables failed on us this morning. Out of 50, I guess it's not bad. It, it, 
it unfrayed. You can kind of still see the end of this cable there, okay? What happened is it frayed like that, and then we were running it through the posts. It got caught up, one, one little strand got caught up in the post, and the guys kept feeding it, and, and then it got all boogered up. And then we couldn't get it out of the post. We're like, oh, shoot. So I got to run down to our local rail distributor and pick up another one of these because this one's no longer good to us. It's too short, we had to cut it to get it out. Sometimes that happens. Good thing they're only about 20 minutes from where we're located. So I can sneak down there uh, at lunch or when the guys are doing another task and go handle that while they're uh, doing something else. And then we'll be able to get everything tensioned today, I hope. I just gotta get this top cap done. And then the only thing left will be the staircase cable, which I need to drill press for. I didn't bring a drill press today. So we'll just probably get the main deck done and then uh, worry about that a little bit later. So far, so good. I've got about half the top rail up, maybe a little more because that corner was kind of a bugger. That took a few minutes, uh, multiple cuts, multiple trips to make it look decent. I'm kind of rounding the corner now. I have this piece cut and then I only have one, two, three more pieces of railing to make. Well, four actually with a splice in it. So um, everything's looking good so far. I'm happy with the way things are turning out and we're just short of cable. So uh, that's your update. All right, guys, that's all we have time for today. I really appreciate you watching. We uh, got all of our top cap on. Rail looks great. All we have left to do is clean the base post, put on the base post caps. So we have little covers that cover up these post bases. And then uh, to tension the cable and we'll do all that. And then you can come back uh, on our next time and check it out when it's finished. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you wanna be notified every time we're putting out fresh content. Stay level, my friends. Mm -hmm.